The number of violent crimes is up across Washington state, while the number of officers able to respond to those crimes is down. And that's according to a new poll from the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs. King 5's Madison Wade sifted through that report. And Madison, you have three takeaways here. Yeah, we'll walk you through those takeaways in just a moment. This report was put out annually by the WASPC. It tracks crime and arrest data from around the state of Washington. So let's start with violent crime. Overall, violent crime increased more than 12% from 2020 to 2021. The report found there were 325 murders. Now that is up 6% from 2020. Robberies increased 10%. Now, at the same time, the number of officers dropped. The report found the state lost about 500 officers last year. That is important because overall, that's the lowest per capita rate of officers to residents reported since the organization began tracking that data in 1980. People call 911. They want somebody to show up and they need to get there relatively quickly. They need to, need to get there with the right resources. Less staffing obviously means that's not going to happen as much. Now some good news, drug arrests and fraud incidents dropped significantly. Drug offenses dropped nearly 61%. Identity theft dropped nearly 80%. The report says that's in part due to the state Supreme Court black decision, Blake decision rather. In February of last year, the court ruled the state's felony drug possession statute was unconstitutional because it didn't require prosecutors to prove someone knowingly possessed those drugs. Live in the newsroom, Madison Wade, King 5 News.